The red-tailed fascagal previously occurred across much of Australia. It's a species that's declined substantially in its range from a distribution that's spanned across the semi-arid zone of Australia into the temperate zone and it's now restricted to just the wheat belt um, of Western Australia. It's a small marsupial that eats um, insect prey predominantly, uh, particularly like spiders and other prey that are less than 10 millimetres in length and it is a semi-arboreal species so that means that it lives partly on the ground but also has a very strong preference for living up in the trees. So we've undertaken monitoring at nine sites in the Western Australian wheat belt and uh, all of those are reserves that are managed by the Department of Parks and Wildlife. So we undertook monitoring for two weeks and we selected from that monitoring two sites that will be used for sourcing West Ashby and Pinjaculling nature reserves. The way that we're choosing individuals for translocation is that we're selecting the animals that are healthy uh, so based on their body size and making sure that they're not below body size in comparison to the average for the species. There's actually subfossil evidence of red-tailed fascagals from Mount Gibson Wildlife Sanctuary. So that indicates that it's suitable habitat for the species. And we've also undertaken habitat assessments and determined where exactly the species would most likely succeed. And so we'll be releasing the animals into that particular area.